Concern over the Zika virus is still growing across the country, including here in Alabama. Thanks for joining us. I'm Carl Brady. The Alabama Department of Public Health has recorded a total of 25 travel related positive tests for the Zika virus in 16 Alabama counties. Calhoun, Etowah, St. Clair and Talladega counties are local areas where there have been people who have tested positive for the virus. Dr. Jim McVeigh is the Alabama Department of Public Health Director of Health Promotion and Chronic Disease. He says the agency has been working with the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to identify the people who need to be tested for Zika and to work with those who have tested positive in local communities. The first one was identified from Etowah County. In June, uh, the next one in the areas that you are concerned with was in Calhoun County in July. Talladega County also had a case in July. And in St. Clair County, the one case they've had to test positive was in uh, was uh, July the 29th. McVeigh says additional precautions should be taken for pregnant women and women of childbearing age. Public health environmentalists have been helping people reduce mosquito breeding grounds around their homes and communities. There are ways of avoiding it, but there's no reason for panic because if you are going to Central South America, you need to take precautions down there and not bring it back. McVeigh says the most common symptoms of Zika are fever, rash, joint pain, and red eyes. Other symptoms include muscle pain and headache. These symptoms usually last for several days to up to a week. Symptoms of Zika are similar to other viruses that are spread through mosquito bites as well. The life cycle of the virus, it, the body fights a foreign virus. If you want to think of the flu virus, a person becomes, although they become very sick for a few days, the body actually kills the virus, and although they would test as having had the virus, it is no longer living, so it has no effect. For more information on the Zika virus and its prevention, you can visit the CDC website at cdc.gov.